from Las Vegas. It's The Q, covering Oracle's modern marketing experience. Brought to you by Oracle. Now, here's your host, John Furrier and Peter Burris. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Las Vegas for Oracle's modern marketing experience. This is SiliconANGLE Media's The Q. This is our flagship program where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with my co-host Peter Burris. Our next guest is Vic Kathuria, head of global agency partners for Oracle's Marketing Cloud. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, excited to be here. So the agency world is under turmoil with the digital transformation because mainly they've been a steward for brands, B2B, B2C, C2C, to bring you know, high value, good messaging to two customers, help close business, create impressions, all that good stuff that goes on in the agency world, but with cloud and uh, some of the marketing technology stuff, you've got this really challenging time. Right. Give us the state of the union on the agency side. Sure. Because you know, there's a variety of different agencies. You've got BR agencies, up to full service aid agencies, conglomerates at a global scale, and at the end of the day, the, the, their customers want speed, agility, <laughs> and better results. That's right. <laughs> what's the state of the, the, state of the union? With so I think what's really interesting is in the past few years, absolutely right, with the advent of the marketing cloud, with a big focus on data, results of explosion of platforms in place, Snapchats, Instagrams of the world, right? As well as the fact that you have technology and programmatic emerging very, very quickly and strongly, there's been a massive focus on accountability. As a result, you're seeing a couple of key things happening. First of all, the agencies are pivoting away from the old compensation model. Remember the old days of 15%? Well, those are long gone. You're lucky to get five or three or even 1%, right? So the whole premise of getting compensation as a percentage of your media spend, that's going to start to go away. Very quickly, the agencies are getting to the business of delivering relevant business outcomes. If and when you can do that, you're going to be a part of the equation. If not, there's going to be a very different conversation. And so accountability and ROI are two key themes that are emerging very, very quickly. And now systems integrators, traditional enterprise computing kind of paradigm is now creeping into it because it's a workflow, value chain re reconstruction, rebooting, revamping, however you want to do it, replatforming. You're starting to see some old line mainstream SIs get into it. And also the, the, the big conglomerates are also bringing in their own That's right. systems integration yes. capability. This is data, this is tech. That's not what the CMO wants to be, they don't want to be IT. That's right. I think what's, what's key is funny you say that, right? To us, our, our key target market is how do you make our CMOs and CIOs join at the hip? Because at the end of the day, a lot of these decisions that are being made are completely harming, they need to be, right? So to your point, absolutely, you've seen the Accentures, the PWCs, or the Deloitte of the world actually running business reviews from media. We're like, wait, what? When does this happen? <laughs> that was a forte of the media agencies, right? So and to your earlier point, what's happening as a result is the holding companies very quickly are acquiring. SI-like agencies themselves to bolster their portfolio, and we've been actually quite successful now as Oracle Marketing Cloud, enabling our global agency partners and the holding companies to have their skill sets so they can actually go up against the Accentures and PWCs and fight on their turf as opposed <laughs> to fight coming on their turf, right? So, so we had a comment on theCUBE earlier um, from another guest that said, oh, CIOs and CMOs should be getting together, let's get them together, and they sometimes at oil and water, so let's hire a chief data officer to kind of bridge the gap. Yes. Another trend, chief data officer kind of bridging. Chief digital officer. Chief digital officer, yeah, teach CDO. Chief digital officer, it could be data too, but you know, digital really focused on that. Is that a temporal thing? Do you see that as really a catalyst? Is that just optics? Sure. What's your take on so the So it's funny you say officer? that because, well actually I used to be a chief digital officer at Group M and I was a chief global chief media officer. So you're talking to the right person. <laughs> so absolutely, that's something actually that's been going on Five or seven years. The trend though is data. Actually, chief data scientists, big data, chief data officers, that's absolutely the biggest thing right now in the past three years. I think it's something that's here to stay because very quickly the glue that binds marketing and information together is data. So that's why my earlier comment about getting the CIOs and CMO joined at the hip. So the glue that brings them together is data and hence the advent of big data and chief data officers. I talked with Mark Hurd in January on a sit-down interview, 58 minutes on YouTube, search Mark Hurd, Silicon Angle, um, but also wrote a post on Forbes in 2014 about how your marketing cloud needs to look and behave more like Amazon Web Services, meaning easy to stand up, some basic building blocks to get started, but yet a comprehensive set of services. You guys are now providing that. That's what I heard you talk about this morning. So I got to ask you the question. With Facebook's earnings today announced, smashing results, uh, mobile, a big part of that, yep. points to the market trend, That's right. which is, hey, the users are engaging, this mobile there, 
this is a, bringing on this kind of Amazon Web Services like effect, which is spot campaigns, a trend that we're seeing. Right. Where a marketer wants to take kind of an agile approach and saying, I don't need some big investment plan. I know my audience is there, there, and there in the moment. Yep. Facebook announced that uh, their developer conference, live in the moment video, yep. et cetera, et cetera. So in the moment, real time, capturing those opportunities require really, really fast delivery. Standing up something very fast in the moment and it, and it could iterate. This Absolutely. seems to be the big trend. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, do you agree? Any color around things you've seen with agencies sure. and, and customers? I think so, you're absolutely right. It's about hyper relevant, hyper personalized messages, right message, right time. So our whole premise on the Oracle Marketing Cloud, to Mark's earlier point this morning, has been about delivering at scale and being agile. So that's something we sort of take pride in and our base is our data management platform. So it's about aggregation of all data sources that a marketer has, the ability to then hyper-personalize and hyper-contextualize in real time and deliver. So actually that is the premise that we hold near and dear to our heart between Blue Kai and Elcom Responses is the ability to integrate all of your channels and then personalize messages in real time and focus on efficiency because again, our focus has always been on one thing and one thing alone, which is the consumer experience. So we believe our cloud suite is actually allowing us to do that very nicely. So if you think about, uh, one of the other things we've heard is that uh, technology has, at various times, fostered an increasing separation of marketing activities, and now is perhaps coming back or starting to integrate marketing activities and make it more coherent. But we've also, you, you work with partners, you work Correct. with folks who, you know, agencies and whatnot. How is the soft, how is software helping a CMO and her staff sure. to do a better job of tracking the ROI that's get coming out of the agencies yep. and not just out of the campaign. So how is, how is software helping to bring the entire ecosystem together? Sure. Because it's clear people aren't going to hire their own people right. for an internal agency. Correct. I think the big focus, as I said earlier, was twofold, right? Accountability and relevant business results. So because we have our software, so it starts with what are the right KPIs, what's your baseline? So our software, our marketing services suite allows us to do that. The key focus here is on training the agencies on how you implementing the software. A big part of implementing the software the right way is having the right conversation with the marketers around what are the right measurable KPIs which reach to the relevant business outcomes, right? Without that conversations, you would have no idea how a marketing or media campaign is performing. So what our software allows them to do is have the right relevant conversations with the marketers, which then in turn focus on where should the media or the marketing or the strategy be placed. So think of it as putting you know, the old, the car before the horse. We actually are saying, no, 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 no. You really need to focus on the consumer experience, which then goes back to the strategy, but eventually then goes back to the right channels, the right marketing, and the right ROI. Without that, a lot of these conversations, to your earlier point, have been happening in silos. You've been having um, TV, uh, outdoor, digital, even within digital there's a massive split happening in social and display and video. So what we, what our software is allowing you to do in real time is do the aggregation across, so you have a single lens of the customer. The one you have, the moment you have a single lens of the consumer, it allows you to focus on the relevant messages, which then goes back to delivering relevant business results, which then goes back to having the right conversation of how an agency is adding value, right? That's what it's all about. So as a, as a CMO, Am I using Oracle Marketing Cloud to manage my agency? Absolutely, I think it's a big focus because as a CMO, you are absolutely getting the right tools with the Oracle Marketing Suite, which allows you to focus on the right KPIs. Without Oracle's Marketing Cloud and tools, it will be much harder for a CMO to be able to assess what is the value that's being delivered by an agency, which goes back to how and well are they managing their marketing campaigns. So, looking forward then, do you expect that agencies are going to embrace the marketing cloud, even though it may in fact be used as a way of uh, ensuring that they're delivering when and how sure. and at the price points it's supposed to be delivering. How are you experiencing, what, what, kind of, what kind of adoption are you getting out of the agencies? I think it's been great, it's been a learning process. My group is there for about 18 months now, year and a half. It's been a three-step process, it starts with the awareness, then from there it very quickly goes into adoption and then scale. So we've seen great adoption across the big six holding companies. And the big focus, again, is given the advent of technology, data, and programmatic in the past few years, agencies, the big agencies have already pivoted. They've already gone ahead 
and start investing in data and technology themselves, a lot of them are, right? So they see us as a kindred spirit, as a partner who is here to help them provide the ROI and the accountability which their clients are asking for. So it actually is an, um, a partnership which is very harmonious and with something that strategically makes a lot of sense because that's where the market is headed. I got to ask you the question. I heard this from a, um, um, one of our customers talking about an agency and, there, and he was referring to a technology partner and said, I'd rather give my money to them than the agency because the agency provides no value. Now obviously, a little bit different situation, was a lot of certain context of that conversation, but to that customer in that particular situation, the agency was out of step with the cadence of their business. Right. And so that was essentially the problem. Sure. Not necessarily uh, uh, indictment on the agency overall, but this is the question. What is the agencies doing now to increase their billing? Because at the end of the day, they're billing driven, right? Absolutely. So they want some more bookings, <laughs> yes. right? So that means customers that see value. That's right. So what are the value propositions that are the agencies providing now that you see working? Sure. What are kind of being retooled and revamped? I think the big focus that the agencies have made to stay relevant moving forward is one, a big investment in the talent. A big focus has been on technology, on data, understanding those. So to your earlier point about chief data scientists, well guess what? I can promise you every global holding company agency has a massive data group. That's been there in the past three to five years, and all of them have big data, chief data officers, right? Number one. Number two is being very, very comfortable with not only understanding, but implementing and evaluating technology stacks. Because agencies to be successful have to be seen as agnostic providers of best of breed. So if they do their homework and, and partner with the best of breed, and then our, our ability, their ability to provide the right recommendation at the right time, that's what's going to make them relevant, right? Because they realize what they're good at. So as a bill or partner, where do I go? So some you build yeah. internally, some you partner outside. So partnering is what comes, partnering with folks like the OMC, so you can provide that best of breed when it comes to making the, the right recommendations. So how would you rate them agencies and the progress bar of the evolution? Are they walking erect? Are they still in the caveman days? Because this is a transformation for agencies. Sure, absolutely. Okay, now you got a technology mix in here, yep. and you still got creative, you still got some other things that got to get done. Right. So there's a little, still an existing business. Sure. Where are they in the progress? First inning, third inning, what metaphor can I'd you say, use? I'd say, I mean, yeah, I love baseball, so I'll give baseball an analogy. I'd say still the early innings, they're probably in the, probably in the top of the third, so to speak. So I think they have understood um, where the market is headed, where the business is going. They recognize the importance of data and technology. They've also recognized the importance of strategic partnerships. Now it's a question of adoption and then figuring out once you adopt it, how do I scale it and how do I, from a business model, what does this look like, right? I think that's coming. So those you'll see in the second half of the game, so to speak. So you have top of third. Okay, since you were a CDO, Chief Digital Officer in your previous life, now at Oracle, switch that hat back around. Pretend that you're a Chief Digital Officer of one of sure. these companies. Um, what's your mandate? What's the North Star for you? What's, what's, your, what's your vision to, to play, knowing what you know at Oracle, yep. coming into the agency today, what has to change? What, what has to be accelerated? What has to be de-emphasized? Sure. Where would you, you know, kind of knuckle down on some things? What would you do? So three key things. Number one is we have to, now I'm on the agency side, you have to, we have to break down the silos. It is very, very important. Because there's loads of great information, great people in silos. We need to break down them silos. Number two is, Gone are the days of traditional planning, media planning, forget it. It's all about real-time analytics, insights, implementing very, very quickly. Last but not the least, I would say, is the focus, um, you know, and we're very big at this at the Oracle Marketing Cloud, is the identity graph. So it's, at the end of the day, given the massive explosion of channels, given the explosion of data and the fragmentation that's out there, it is so hard to establish the right relevant identity for you or me. How do we do that? So really focusing on developing the identity graph, understanding who the consumer is, because at the end of the day, if, you don't, if you're not doing that, you're in big trouble. So those How do they do things. that when they're off property in the wild, not just their website? So I think that's a great question. I think that's where it comes down to partnering with folks like the Oracle Marketing Cloud, where we have the right set of tools and technologies in place, such as data logic, such as crosswise, such as data this, right? Exactly. Be very interesting with data logic. That's exactly, so it's our whole premise is <laughs> connecting offline with online and yeah. building out the right identity graph. So systems of record, systems of engagement, and AI is all coming onto the scene in a big way. You see those trends in the customers, those conversations happening in New York, or that more of a Silicon Valley conversation? It was absolutely in, in New York as well. You have uh, both sort of AI, you have AR and VR, right? It's happening, so you see Facebook making a massive play, so absolutely these platforms are coming on strong. I think you're still more in the test phase, 
So very, very keenly watching them. And as and when they get scale, we absolutely will find ways to track them. Vic, thanks so much for sharing your insight here and the data on theCUBE. Of course, we like to extract that data, share that with the audience. Thanks so much for sharing the insight on what's going on in the agency, and best of luck. Thanks so much, it's a pleasure being here. Okay, Vic Cathory, head of global agency partners at Oracle Marketing Cloud. Big role, big job, a lot of, lot of action happening. I'm sure you work long hours <laughs> these days. This is theCUBE, we're, we're going long hours as well. We've got more interviews all day today and tomorrow. Stay with us, we'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>